So we're on site of an existing pondless waterfall here in Orchard Lake City, Michigan. No, I'm not holding my camera on an angle, but this box right here is on an angle. And we're gonna correct that today. But after taking this apart, one of the things that we're finding is right down in here, this is one of probably thousands of black walnuts that the chipmunks and or squirrels stored right down in here. And when we see that type of activity, it's not a good sign because they'll crawl underneath the liner and then um, start chewing holes in the liner. That's not a good thing. So we're going to take this section here out. We're going to put in some Aquascape Spillway um, diffusers. We're going to do two of them because his pump is pretty aggressive. So we're going to do one here and then maybe one at another angle here. Have that water come down. We're also going to replace the liner from right up and through here going down to this first drop here and add some concrete cloth to the back side of it. So that way um, it will deter them from going underneath the liner and chewing holes in it. So stay tuned on this project. Good afternoon. This is Brian with Puts Ponds. Uh, here on this gorgeous day in West Bloomfield, Michigan. Um, so what we have going on is a pondless waterfall that was built by another contractor um, that the homeowner was complaining that it was leaking. Uh, he was losing water, having to fill it up like every day um which isn't right so he had a spillway box at the top um that had settled over years and was forcing all of the water out one side and because the stream is kind of narrow um the water was going outside the liner uh, on the one side so um the contractors that built the uh, waterfall, um, we realized that they must have known there was an issue. Um, there was a piece of liner that was seamed together to another piece of liner with silicone. Um, that just doesn't work right. So what we did is we pulled the piece of liner that was silicone to the other piece we pulled that off cleaned it up real good and used our um, patch primer um, and a new piece of liner to uh, attach to the streamliner because that just in case the waterfall was too aggressive um, we had a little extra liner to play with on the one side that it was leaking on before so um, I'm going to show you, turn you around, show you what we did. So what we did was redo the upper waterfalls and the second waterfall. Um, added two spillway boxes, one, two. Um, we did the rock work, um, added ball valve on each one of the spillway boxes. So that way, just in case it was too aggressive we could turn down either side um, but everything looks great um, have it turned down a little bit each one um, but as you can see there's no water coming over the liner nothing so homeowners happy um, done right not losing any water and uh, we'll be on to the next. Thanks.